Welcome back! In this video, we will talk about Wanda's dynamic simulation capacity. As you know, the formulation of the problem is very essential for ensuring an accurate solution. When we are building our hydraulic model, we need to always ask ourselves, what are the critical hydraulic components in the system? And what are the relevant settings and proper boundary conditions? Let's further elaborate on this by looking into Wanda's powerful transient calculation mode. By using Wanda's transient calculation mode, we can model the dynamic behavior of complex networks, including modeling of quasi-steady behavior and fast-occurring transient phenomena such as water hammer. For example, filling or emptying of a storage tank is modeled as a quasi-steady phenomena in which change is gradually occurring within the system through reaching and transitioning through numerous equilibrium states. The simulation time for such a phenomena is relatively long and has a relatively large time step when compared to transient phenomena. On the other hand, pump stop or pump start are examples of problems in which water hammer phenomena will occur. Water hammer is a transient event which is fast occurring and requires a model with short simulation time and small time step. To elaborate on this, we will look at an example. Let's start by solving a quasi-steady problem. And as always, we start by problem definition and what is the question we are trying to answer. Let's assume we're having the same gravity system as before, and we are trying to calculate the time required for filling the storage tank up to 8 meters mean sea level. As we are interested in the dynamic behavior of the system, which is characterized by change in time, we need to change the calculation mode of WANDA from engineering mode into transient mode. So let's start by going to WANDA. Here we have our hydraulic model, as before. We start by changing the computation settings. So we go to Model, Mode and Options, or equally we can press Ctrl plus M. And in the computation settings, we change from engineering mode to transient mode, and we press OK. Now we need to go to selection in order to check if we are lacking any data or properties of any hydraulic components in the system. And we ask Wanda to select all invalid objects. Now Wanda is highlighting the pipe component for us because we are lacking the values of wall thickness and Young's modulus. However, the calculation mode of the pipe component is set at water hammer. We choose water hammer when we are simulating fast occurring events to ensure that both the compressibility of the fluid in the pipe and the elasticity of the walls of the pipe are accounted for in the model. However, we are trying to model a quasi-steady phenomena in which we are not interested in transient considerations. Thus, we choose a calculation mode of rigid column, which ensures that the fluid in the pipe is recorded as incompressible. Here, we choose rigid column. Now we go to selection and we see that we have no invalid objects in our model at the moment. So we go to model and we ask Wanda to calculate transient. Here Wanda is telling us that we are missing time step to run on steady uh, simulation. So we go to model and we go to time parameters window and we choose a time step of 10 seconds and a simulation time of an hour which is 3600 seconds. Now we go to model and we ask Wanda to calculate transient again. Now Wanda is successfully running. Since we are interested at looking at the storage tank, we start by selecting the storage tank component. And then we look at the fluid level in the storage tank. 
Here we notice that within an hour of simulation time, the water level in the storage tank is reaching 8 meters. If we zoom in, we can see that the uh, level of 8 meters is reached at 2680 seconds, which is around 45 minutes. That's the answer to our question. In the next video, we will look uh, into the water hammer phenomena and how we can simulate that with Wanda. Thank you.